Hey y'all, welcome to Ms. Clark's chemistry class. We're gonna do another lab. In this lab, I'm going to be making a solution and then diluting that solution. You need to pay special attention to the masses of the solute that I'm using, how much water I'm using, so you can calculate the molarity of my solution and then you can calculate the molarity of my new diluted solution. You're gonna need a calculator, periodic table, something to write with. Go get your supplies and meet me in the lab. Let's get started. In this lab, there's gonna be two goals. Your first goal is to calculate the molarity of the solution that's being prepared. We're gonna call this your stock solution. Your solute is copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. Now guys, remember hydrates, that means there is going to be water molecules attached to the compound. Pentahydrate. There are five water molecules for every one molecule of copper 2 sulfate. I'm only mentioning this because when you find your molar mass of copper 2 sulfate, you have to add in those five molecules of water. So you're going to add your coppers up, the compounds that make up sulfate, and then add the mass of five waters to your molar mass. And we're going to use water as our solvent. Do we see that? Copper sulfate pentahydrate five waters. When we're making solutions, we normally use a volumetric flask. That's what you're seeing in front of you right here. The volumetric flask only has one measure line. You see that? That's why it's used for making solutions. We're not measuring anything but 500 milliliters. And here's our solution. Now remember, we're calling this the stock solution. Get ready for the dilution. Okay, so here we are ready for our second goal. We're gonna calculate the new molarity after the dilution was performed from the stock solution. Make sure and pay attention how much of that stock solution I'm using we need a very precise way to measure out how much stock solution we're going to use. I am going to use a burette. We use burettes to dispense very precise amounts of liquid. Pour a portion of the stock solution into the burette for dispensing. This is how much stock solution I poured in. Now I want you to notice a few things. A burette numbers backwards because it's for dispensing. So you're going to need to take note of where the liquid level is now. In a second, I'm going to dispense some. Then I'm going to show you the new level. You will need to subtract those to figure out the milliliters of stock solution that I dispensed. Okay, so I wanted to pause right here and make sure that you're figuring out how many milliliters of stock solution was dispensed. Go ahead and do that real quick. Now for this dilution, I'm using a 100 milliliter volumetric flask. And here we are, a final comparison. We've got our stock solution, which is missing a little bit of a portion because I used it to make our diluted solution. So we would say the stock solution was concentrated and the new solution is dilute. Did y'all really think y'all were getting out of here without a post lab? Y'all know me better than that. Come on. But guess what? There's only one question. I want you to write out procedures on how to dilute a stock solution to lower the molarity. Be very specific. This is the only question I'm asking you. I hope this lab gave you a practical use for calculating molarity and dilutions. Until next time, bye y'all.